So here is the result we have after pioneering. So the next thing is just to put our band. So let's go and see how we do that. So for the band, I will have to do little calculation here. So this is what I have. So I will open up this now. So I have my notch. The notch is here. So now I'm going to do little calculations. So don't forget the total length I have now is a fashion measure here from here to this place, from one side to the other, from this side to the other side. So everything I have here is a um, 36 and a half, 36 and a half. So I will have uh, like um, five or six inches to it, five or six inches to it. So if I should have them um, six to 36, that is going to be 42. So 42, 42 should be okay for me now. I said what I'm going to cut as the band now, or I can have more. What I have here, I have um, 40, 46, 46. I'm okay by 46. I will not stress myself. I will not cut it. So to make it more convenient for me now. So you can have them as much as possible. You can have them like um, eight or six. So now I have like eight, which is um, still better. So there are two ways to this thing. So if you like, you can um, pipe it with a um, bias. But I will not be using bias here. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold this. So what you are going to cut here is um, like five. The wideness is five. But if you know that um, we don't have um, enough fabric, you you can cut um, you can use um, what do we call it? Um, bias to tape it. So what you are going to cut at the end of the day is just um, four, four. But um, now I'm not using bias, so I'm going to cut them um, five as the wideness now. So then I'm going to fold. I'm folding now. I'm folding by half quarter. So I'll be putting emmy gum so that it will fit. If you like, you can just sew it. You can sew it. But um, I prefer using an um, gum next thing I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to fold. My band is uh, one and a half. One and a half is what I use for band. So, but now I'll be folding it into two now because I'm going to use half to join that uh, band to the trouser. So I'll be using two. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm now going to do the kind of calculation. The band is joined together. So because um, I have enough SSCs, I have enough them, um, it is going to have elastic at the back. So, and then beside, um, besides the uh, measurement, it's not my exact measurement. So I will have, we are not going to have an, any issue since um, it is going to have an um, elastic at the back. So what we are going to do now is this. So from here, no, I have my notch here. So I want my rope. This is where I want my rope to be. So your rope will be three inches away from this um, notch point where this folding is. 
can see three inches away from that side three inches away from it so if you're having three inches away from it then at this point now just measure from here to this point to the back joints to the back joint here i have them um, 14. i have 14. 14. so it means that i'm um, from here to this place is 14. so if i'm taking it to the other side too it is going to be 14 too that is going to be 14 multiplied by 2. that is going to be 28. at this point it's going to give me 28. so this is where the another um, the other side of the rope is going to be so I'm going to have a 28 so from this now I'm going to cut out 28 but I will not cut out 28 again I will cut out in 29 because I'm going to use half half to join it so I'm going to cut in 29 29 So I have 29. So this one now, what I'm going to have here is this. So I have enough. So this enough, I will not bother myself calculating um, because um, if you look at it, this place is going to be longer than this place. It is going to be longer than this place because there is going to be a foot here. The extension of the band is going to be here. So the, by calculation, this side, what I'm going to attach to this side should be longer than uh, what I'm going to attach to this side. But then um, because I have enough, enough of this with me, because I have enough, so I will not bothering calculating it. I will just um, divide this one by two. I will just um, divide this one by two. Then I'm good to go. But if I want to do the calculation, I can do the calculation. Make sure you have enough so that you will save yourself from um, the stress of um, calculating. So I will cut this one into two. I'll cut this one into two. So the next thing is just to put my um, steel now or interfacing. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put an interfacing. So now my interfacing is going to be half inch, half inch. The height is half inch. So on this, I will just um, attach my, I will just fix my, this thing. So here, you still have a calculation you are going to do. You fold this thing into two, fold it into two, then you pick the center, pick the center, then notch the center, notch the center, then open it. So then you come back here. Don't forget, um, your elast elastic is going to cover from here from here to this point to this point that is where the elastic is going to be that is where the elastic is going to be so that means that um, from here the distance from here to here is a um, nine approximately nine nine so then it means that um, from here to this side is nine so to this side so nine making 18 nine to this side and then nine to this side making 18 so at those points that is where you are going to attach your uh, what do we call it nine so the remaining part here you are going to put them um, your stay elastic is going to be here from here to this place 18 so the remaining aspects you are going to the remaining parts you are going to put your stick
So let's now go to the mansion now and see how we join everything together. So it's time to join everything together. So the first thing you are going to do is that uh, you place this. Let it tallies, especially this point. Let's tell this. Can join by Kota. Then you make sure you leave a, a little space where you are going to put your rope like half then if you like you can just leave it like that but i would like to open it on top stage we don't want this one to show you can use any gum to hold it down. So you have um, this, that is where your rope is going to pass through. So you repeat the same process for the other side. So the next thing is just to fix our bands to the trouser. So the first thing you are going to do here is that uh, make sure you fold them, the mouth here fold it a bit like a half inch that's the first thing you are going to do so after that you are now good to go so the first thing we are going to do here is that um, place this, make sure then this place tallies, then the sew. Don't let your sewing get on top of the stay. Don't sew on the stay. But then uh, now, after holding down that place, you make sure that um, this point, the joint here, the back joint here, make sure it tallies. You place it here. It tallies the with the other place you notched the other time, the center. Then now trace it down. Trace it down, down, down. So to this point, keep on tracing it. To this point, where you have um, your notch, don't forget there is a notch here. So you trace it down to that place where you have your notch. Then at that point, you fold this place up. At that point, you fold this place up, you can see. Then you notch this side, this place too. You notch it. Then you keep on sewing. 
you keep on sewing. So when you sew to that point, where you have your notch, you stop. So you stop when you get to that point, then you raise the foot of your mansion, then you fold this to the point where you notch the other time, fold it and let it settle. Then you skip that point, fold this way. Then you skip that point and continue at the other side. Then you continue your sewing. So we are done. But the next thing we are going to do, we are almost done with the work now. So I will just um, trim off um, part of this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just to fold this. I'll fold this. You can see you turn it to the other side to deep point where you have the then then you sew it straight. like you can create a kind of design here so I will cut this it has a techniques of cutting it so while cutting this when you go to this point come out then you cut don't cut directly so that then when you turn it you have any this This is what we have. So we have this. Then at the other side, we have uh, at this point, at the other side here, first of all, turn this one this way. Then you are going to sew this side to the point where you have um, this. You are going to sew to this point. Then you trim off this a bit and then the next thing you are going to do you are going to turn it to this side so you are going to sew this side soon while sewing this what will this while sewing this make sure that then this line tallies with them this point so let's do that So what you are going to do here is that um, trim off this. So this place too, you can see at this point, this 
this point where you start you stop swaying you stop your swaying so you cut it so that is going to be our extension you can see so you turn it So, I'll see. So, we are almost done. So the next thing is just to attach our elastic. The next thing is just to put our elastic. So from here, I'm going to fold my elastic this way, fold it backward, then place it here. Don't forget at that point we are there is joint at this point this center we are there is joint that is where you are going to put it So, then you will stretch your elastic to have your desired uh, point. You can see this place, this one is going to exhaust my elastic, so I have a um, desired uh, length. So, I'm going to cut off this, then I will fold this one as well, so inward. Then I'm going to target that same point. So we are almost done. So the next thing is just to finish it up. So make sure that um, everything is well arranged. If you like, you can iron it. So make sure that um, this place, they are well and inside. So. So on that point where you have um, you have joint, that is where you are going to sew. On this point, so make sure it is um, well aligned. If you like, you can reiron it so that um, everything will lay flat. So I would like to do that. So, I'm going to sew this place later, or if I like, I can first of all do that. But I can do it anytime, anytime I like. So let me quickly do it before I fix the elastic. So I'll be showing this one by one um, cutter. One cutter is okay.
So the next thing is just to, to do the finishing. 